Iraqi and American intelligence officials are telling the Associated Press that the Islamic State has a dedicated branch devoted to researching chemical weapons, including nerve gas. Since the Islamic State has a terrorist safe haven across Syria and Iraq, the idea that they're even working on these weapons is, is really frightening, you know, in light of the Paris attacks. Um, and, you know, it's something that is, that is foremost on the minds of, of Western intelligence analysts who are looking at the Islamic State. Iraqi intelligence uh, officials tell us that the Islamic State has recruited you know, weapons scientists, experts who work for the Saddam Hussein regime, and others from around the region who have been drawn to the Islamic State cause with backgrounds in chemistry and, and uh, with other technical backgrounds who are working on this project. Well, the U U.S. intelligence community is tracking these efforts very closely. There's a whole non-proliferation department within the CIA that, that, that focuses on preventing you know, terrorist groups and adversaries from developing chemical weapons. And if they had actionable intelligence that there was a chemical weapons depot or cell, or if they knew where it was, and they, I mean, they would, they would presumably bomb it. But um, I don't get the sense that, that it's that, that U.S. intelligence has complete visibility on where these folks are and what they're doing. American and European intelligence officials tell us that it's very unlikely that they could, first of all, create like a VX gas and secondly, weaponize it, move it around without getting themselves all killed. I mean, it's incredibly difficult. It's a high tech kind of uh, operation to carry out. And they, particularly under the conditions that they're living in in Syria, the U.S. and uh, European officials don't think that's possible. Although we did talk to a former intelligence official who said, you know, with enough time and space, enough experts, they can probably create a battlefield weapon, potentially with nerve gas or some other kinds of dangerous chemical, more, more substantial than the mustard gas they've used so far.